Hello everyone, today we are doing our orange look. So this is part of my rainbow series, I've already done red and thank you guys so much for the amazing, amazing, amazing feedback on that video. I really appreciate it, I'm glad you guys are already enjoying it. So I thought I would go balls deep today and tint my hair as well. This could go very badly, this is supposed to be able to wash out easily. I'm nervous, I don't know what this color is going to turn out like but it says it's copper, rusty copper and I figure it would look cool with orange makeup because it's like all monochrome and stuff. Very nervous. Let's just see how it comes out. Got my um, bravery drink right here. Oh, so good. Caramel coffee. And I have a towel. Where is it? Just here. And I'm currently in a shit top just in case I get stains everywhere. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm a bit nervous, but let's just dive in, shall we? I don't really know how to clip this towel up. I might just tie it up. Okay. Should we section? I don't really know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. And I'm probably going to miss like huge spots at the back of my head, but uh, we'll just do our best. So this is called the KMS style color. Never heard anyone talking about it. Ooh, should I be wearing gloves? Like probably. <laughs> I just inhaled it. I think we're just gonna get like a tint. Cause if I do like hard out, Oh, like that's pretty good though, right? Oh my god, this looks like my natural hair color I had when I was a little girl. I'm not even joking. I'm getting a little bit like too much of a perfectionist right now. I don't think I'm going to get a perfect result doing this by myself. Hopefully this washes easily off my hand. Okay, I'm just going to continue doing this all over my head and I shall be right back so we can play with some fun makeup. Okay, so the back is definitely terrible. Like, I didn't do half of this, but I'm like, eh. It's just for the video anyway. Like, I am going out later to my nail appointment, but I might just tie my hair up in a little bun. I actually love this color, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's so fun. It's just like a really beautiful, like, ginge. And I love for it. Loki tempted to make this my hair color, but I know I'd just get sick of it after a while. It's the thing, like, when you're blonde and you enjoy being blonde, like, it's so tempting to try different hair colors, but then you know it's so hard to get back to, like, the blonde that you were before you changed it, if you know what I mean? Especially if you put red in your hair, like I know that much because I have like a red undertone to my hair. I was born like with this, maybe not as bright as this, like a little bit darker, but like I had like a red tone to my hair when I was born and that stayed with me for years and even now like when we bleach my roots and stuff I go very 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 warm. I miss so many bits so just excuse that and it did wash off my hands pretty easily. I just washed them like three times. They were like caked in orange. I think I'm running out. Yeah, this is it. So you can pretty much get like almost a full use out of a can. I think if you had long hair or thick hair, you'd need two. I could have done with like another can probably to do this properly, but hey, it's a bit of fun. So it goes like real tacky when you first put it in and then when it dries, it feels just like thick, like you've got dry shampoo in it or something. I just use a brush to comb it out. So let's go in with the makeup for orange. You guys know me, I love orange, like orange lips, orange eyes, orange tones, I love them. I feel like this one once again is gonna be quite wearable because orange, I just feel like orange is such a wearable color. I always encourage people to use like oranges on their lips and stuff like that. Like I just love it, especially with really glowing bronzed skin. So I think I'm gonna do glowy bronze skin today. Really hope this washes out okay. So I'm gonna start with the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance Primer. Just to give my skin a super glow. Um, I've been using like strobe cream, cream, <laughs> strobe cream, strobe cream a lot lately, so I just want to switch it up. And I love Smashbox primers for the most part, like pretty much all of them I love. There's like a couple I've tried in my videos which I'm like, eh. But like overall, they're just such good primers. So I'm literally applying this all over and blending that in with my fingers. I'm just gonna shake up this iconic London prep set glow. I'm putting some on my face and then on oh, my chest. I am gonna put on a top soon guys, like once we've done the makeup because I don't really know what to wear and I also am worried that my hair will stain it so I just wanna like let it set for a while and this is literally like a $5 Kmart shit bra so. Damn, my skin looks so good. Okay. Okay, let's go on to our foundation. I might use my wee favorite compact one at the moment. You guys have seen me use this a few times now. Studio Perfect NC30. I also love my other one from the Spring Collection, which I don't have on my desk right now, but I will link the video below where I try it. It's very similar. If you can't find this formula, I would say the other one's very, very similar. So I'm using my Flawless Finish Sponge. This is in the shade NC30. And I'm just going to apply this all over my face. 
I do have a fake tan on, so this should match like pretty bang on. I feel like my fake tan with this hair color, I'm like actually living for it. What's going on with my tan though? I might use some cream products today just to switch it up. I haven't done that in a long time. You know, this whole series is supposed to be to get me to use products that I don't really reach for as well as like some favorites, of course, but like what the heck just happened to my eyelashes? They were just stuck together in a clump. Weird. But you know, I've said from the beginning I really want to experiment with textures and stuff, like glitters, creams, pigments and stuff, rather than just powders, like what I would normally do in any other look. I'm just happy like this. I'd happily just freaking go about my day right now. Like, I'm feeling good. This is like a vibe. What do you guys think? Love it or hate it? I'm gonna use some of my Curvy Contour by Clinique and Do The Hula by Benefit. I'm actually gonna use this as like a little tray. I'll just wipe it clean afterwards. I love Do The Hula, it's so nice. I last used this on my mum for their wedding. The makeup video where I did her makeup, I'll list it below. I'm gonna use it with this like contour brush by Smashbox and just kind of apply it with this. I'm gonna blend it out with my um sponge afterwards, but yeah, when I used it on my mum, it just reminded me how much like I loved the product. So I'm just using this to bronze, literally just bronze. I feel like I'm painting my face right now. I suppose that is what I'm doing. I mean, just take my sponge and blend. It's just such a beautiful warm tone. Do they still sell this? I hope so. And I'm going to highlight my face a little bit with some concealer soon. But first I like to just contour a little bit. Oh my hair's a little bit knotty because then I can like clean up the contour if I need to because sometimes cream contour can be a little bit less precise I think. But that's like the point because it's supposed to be more natural and I'll probably still use some powder on top just to make it more intense but this will just give me like that starting step. And also help my skin just look even more glowy because of the formula. Like when you kind of layer creams and powders and stuff, it can just help kind of retain a little bit more of that dewy finish. Dewy? Dewy dewy? What do you say? Dewy or dewy? I don't know. These baby hairs, what are they doing? <laughs> Where did they come from? What the heck? I'm sure they weren't there before. I'm going to use my Sculpt and Highlighty stuff by Too Faced and Almond. Just under my eyes. Looks like I'm applying a lot, but I scrape off everything beforehand and just use like whatever's left over. You know, when I first started using this, I was like, eh, but it's a go-to. I don't know why, it's just easy. So I just take my sponge, use the little pointy tip under my eye, and just tap, 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 to try and get like that kind of chiseled effect next to my nose, and then blend it outwards. So start in the middle and then blend towards my cheekbone. And then just run it over my lid too, because my eyelids are pink. I just feel like that helps to really lift everything. Now under my eyes, so I'm actually gonna use a yellow powder just to really brighten instead of my normal well rested. I haven't done this in so long. I used to always do this. All right, can't find my MAC one. So today we're gonna use the next contour palette. I'm just gonna use a shimmer chula brush, throwback, with the yellow shade. And I'm just going to tap that sparingly under my eyes. And then on the rest of my face, I'm going to take my Peach Blur Powder by Too Faced, which is going to help to like give me a little bit of a glow once again. It's like this pinky kind of tint, but it looks real pretty on the skin. So I'm just going to tap that everywhere. And I'm not done yet. I'm going to take this powder by Makeup Store Australia. They do still sell this. It's just in a different packaging. This is the Wonder Powder in Gobi, and it's like a shimmery kind of powder, but it's like this bronze shade. So it gives me that J-Lo glow. So I'm just going to use that like on my cheeks. Gives a little bit of coverage too. It's just so nice. This will just really set off the glow. Kind of applying it where I applied hula. My shoulder just clicked really loudly. <laughs> this is such a good product because you just love like the glow, like the bronze glow. It's like real full on. So you only want to use a really small amount and really buff it in. This is a medium face brush. Okay, now let's go onto the eyes. So like eyebrows and eyes and then I'll finish off the skin last because I love this complexion right now. Do you love it when you just like do something with your face and you're just like, damn, love that. Okay, anyway, I didn't go too heavy with the coverage either. So my skin still looks like skin. So I'm going to start, show my, I'll do my eyebrows first. I'm just going to use my normal um, brow zings. We're just gonna go for the normal brows because like I said, I don't really have anything Auburn. I actually recently just freaking gave some Auburn stuff away to my friend Michaela because she's got like red hair. Like not like what I've got, but like red. Re re red. I'm trying not to do like too dramatic brows. Like I want them filled in, but I don't want them too thick or anything. Okay, so changing the shade in the Anastasia Brow Pomade Gel. What is it actually called? Dip Brow Gel. You know when I first tried it, I was like Meh. I like it on top of like brow zings or cabral. I don't like it alone, but yeah, I like it on top. And the soft brown color is nice. I think I chose the wrong color and I just expected too much. Like this though, it's just good. 
I'm doing slightly darker brows. Like sometimes I use the blonde shade, but I'm using soft brown today just because I want a bolder look with the hair. Oh my god. Sometimes I do get this everywhere though. Next we're gonna try the orange P. Louise base. This is OTT orange of the top. This color looks amazing. I don't even know what kind of a, I mean orange, yellow, orange I'm going for. Like I don't know if I'm going for this orange. Tangerine, mandarin, peach. I feel like I shouldn't do peach because peach is basic. Everyone's peach at the moment. Well not everyone. You know what I mean? Like peach has, peach has been a trend. Oh my God, this color though. I feel like I've not planned far enough ahead for this. So I don't really know what I'm doing in the crease. This one, I like a lot more than the red one that I used in my last video. Like, not like the red was bad, it was just that when you blended it out, it wasn't red anymore. I'm gonna use a tapered eye brush, which is synthetic, so. I'm just kind of like softly blend the outside of this primer. Ooh, it's already setting. So apparently I'm going for this kind of shape today. Just trying to get it kind of symmetrical. What a cool color though. That's so neon, okay. Whew, so. Eyeshadows, what am I gonna use? Like, I love this kind of orange, so I might use some of that. And then I'm just kind of looking for some kind of color for my actual crease and everything. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the kind of peach. This is Orange by MAC. God knows how old this is. I'm just gonna tap that. This is a tulip crease brush. I'm gonna tap that straight on top of my actual crease. This is where I need to try and work on this shape and make sure that it's symmetrical. Man, I'm gonna look funky walking into my nail appointment today. I'm gonna try something. I'm just taking a clean fluffy blender brush to try and like diffuse the edges a bit more. And then we're gonna go over top with a color. Now I'm gonna take this, which is a little bit less orange and more peach, but just a tiny bit of this on a slim crease brush, a really small. Blender brush, this is by Colourpop. The eyeshadow, the brush is so beauty. And then I'm just gonna do little brush strokes right on the edge of where I've just been blending. Oh my God, if you can hear any weird noises, it's my stomach. It is going crazy right now and I don't know why. I'm not even hungry, so apparently my body's just being like super dramatic. This is kind of making the look a bit more dramatic and like electric almost. Just going around all of the edges. I'm just going back in with the orange shade and intensifying the orange tones so that it doesn't look too peach. I'm just going to take the orange from the Temptation Source Box palette on it, my finger. It's got a little bit of glitter in it, but not much. And I'm just actually going to softly tap that over top of my eyelid. This is like super orange. I'm just actually applying this with the color I, I mean, with the brush I used. Now this is like so orange. And then going back in with the orange shade on my slim crease brush. And there's like this very soft transition going on. I feel like the camera's not really picking it up very well, but... It's like monochrome, but there's like all these different kind of tones of orange. Now I want to use some glitter naturally. I've got like this electric neon color or I've got a more wearable peachy pinky color. This is more of like a um, pigment by Lit. It's called Kabang. And then this is more of a glitter. So I might actually just use both. I might actually pat a little bit of this neon color just right on the center of my eyelid. Holy, how good would this makeup be for like a festival or something? So I'm using the Lit Glitter Adhesive and I'm just mixing the pigment with it to create like a kind of liquid situation. And I'm gonna go all the way underneath my eye with this, connecting it to that inner corner. I'm gonna clean up all of this later. I'll show you how I do it. Now I'm gonna take this, which is more of a pinky, peachy, orangey shade. It's definitely not like a true orange, but I'm gonna put this just like on my inner corner and a little bit underneath as well. This is called Vitamin C Size 3, so it's quite chunky. And I'm hoping because I've put down that neon, it should kind of like transform a little bit more orange tone than what it looks like in the little packaging. Okay, so I don't have orange eyeliner and I want to do some kind of eyeliner just to balance out that glitter on the bottom. So what I'm thinking is some kind of like deep copper could look real good and really complement the orange without like taking away from the orange. Like I do actually have this by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just think it's just going to blend in too much. Like we need something to contrast just a little bit. I think this would look really cool. This is called Lavish by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I don't even know if it's still available. I'm gonna mix in some Duraline because you can see it's really dried out. This is what Duraline looks like. It's just like a liquid to rehydrate stuff or mix with pigments to make them into like a cream eyeshadow or liquid eyeshadow. And I'm going to just use a little eyeliner brush today. My favorite is actually the winged eyeliner brush, but mine looks a bit dirty. Looks like that normally. It's really good to get the wing. I just hope this isn't too like purple. We're just gonna roll with it. I think it'll complement it. It's like a chocolate color with like a slight copper 
undertone. That wing is so bad. The worst part about doing a bad wing eyeliner on one side is you have to match it to the other side and make two bad eyes. I'm just going to use concealer to clean up the edges because I'm not settling for this mess. I'm just going balls deep with my concealer and a concealer brush. I'm going to do it on both sides so that it matches. Just covering up some of that orange. Okay, I'm going over my woodline with this nude. And then actually going to try out this. This is the TARDIS double take eyeliner. There's a black liquid and a bronze gel. I'm actually going to just go over this liner a little bit with the bronze gel. Just because I feel like I lost a lot of the shimmer because I used that Jura line. It kind of just like made it look quite matte. Now I'm going to use the Inica uh, Long Lash Mascara. Now I've just put on my lashes. These ones here are called Thunder. I think that just adds interest to the top since I don't have much going on. Like I don't have a cut crease or glitter or anything on the top. So this just kind of gives it something, you know. These would be so fun for like a festival. Oh my god. If you were just wearing like black as well, like that would look so amazing. Getting major inspo right now. Hopefully everything looks good. Right, let's contour. Using the same contour kit as before, I am going to take my Dome Contour Brush Base OBD and this color just here and just intensify the cream we put down earlier so you don't really need much. I'm gonna use one of my favorite contour, I mean highlighters at the moment, which is this one right here. Um, Pixie Glowy Gl Gossamer. And I'm gonna take the more bronze one. Then we're gonna do a really peachy Blush. I'm also going to take the same highlight color straight underneath my brow bone just so everything kind of matches. I think I'm going to chuck out that Anastasia Beverly Hills thing. I'm pretty sure it's like super old and it's just. Okay, blush. Let's do something really fun and peachy. This one here is Inglot number 68. And on camera, it's not coming up true to color. It's like so pastel and bright, like orangey. I'm just going to tap that on the apple and bring it back. And then I'm gonna tap a little bit of the one next door, 49. This is a little bit more of a darker um, orange as well, just less peachy. And I'm just gonna lay that on the back, a little bit on my nose. And then just using my brush I use for my powder, I'm just gonna kind of tap over the area to make sure everything's very nicely blended. Now for the lips. I'm going to go in with, <laughs> I've got too many favorite orange combos. Jocelyn, which is like a peachier, more wearable kind of orange-ish shade, but we're gonna make it more orange like by layering. You guys know I love to layer like different tones of lip pencils and lipsticks to create like a custom shade. I'm gonna overline like normal. That's just who I am guys. I feel like this is very bright. This color with the blush, so good. I feel like you can't even see the blush on camera. So that's how Jocelyn looks by itself. This was named after my Nana by the way. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of Tong on top which is like a peachy color. This is like a cream. Um, so like better for my lips right now. It's like a demi matte. So like half cream, half matte. I'm just going to apply some and then blend this out. And I love this combo. You're getting that orange effect, but it's still not like bold orange. I was thinking of doing my bright orange lip, you know, I think with the eye makeup, it needed to be a little more subtle just to like balance out all of those orange tones. This is like such an underrated color. And if you put this color on top of Mari, which is like just like a nude lip pencil or any nude pencil you already own, it is so pretty. It just gives you that flush of peach. Or you can wear it super opaque. Like this is pretty opaque. I'm just making sure to blend it in. Um, You can just like put it on like a liquid lipstick and you get a very like full on effect. But I think for the everyday wearer, like it's better if you just apply less and just really like massage it into your lips and it lasts way longer that way as well and it won't smudge and stuff. And then I'm going to finish off with some Scandinavia Finishing Makeup Spray. Just to soak in the excess powder and really make my skin glow again and like bring out all those creams. I love this. This is like festival makeup vibes, like how cute. Just brushing out my hair a little bit. This definitely makes your hair feel a little bit knotty, like almost brittle. Oh, I'm just really hoping it doesn't damage my hair, but we'll soon find out. I actually just think a nude top would look best with this anyway. Like imagine if this was just like a boob tube. So there is my orange look. Um, I love it. Bronze skin, like glowing skin, the bold, simple top lid. I was thinking of doing like a cut crease and all this stuff, but I just love the simplicity. So we'll save the cut crease and dramatic stuff for like a future color. I just love it. I think the only thing I would change now is the eyeliner color, like just do black or something maybe. It just didn't come out how exactly I wanted it. But I mean, it still looks pretty cute. 
cute. I love the glitter. I love the neon. I love, love, love the lip color with it. I like how it's a little bit more peach versus like neon on the eyes because it just kind of balances everything. And I feel like it's a nice transition between the lid color, the lip color, the blush, and then the hair. Like there's like just all these different kind of tones. It's very monochromatic and I love it. This is definitely like one of my favorite makeup looks I think I've ever done. So comment below, let me know what you think of it. What would you have changed? What would you have added? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Would you wear it? I think for like EDC and stuff, like imagine just chucking on like black, like a black mesh top with like black cycle shorts or something and just wearing something real bold like this on your face. Like it's such a mood. I love it. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you did enjoy it. I would really appreciate it. It helps me reach more people and get my videos out there. Next up is yellow, which I feel like is going to be a little bit of a challenge. So let me know what you guys would envision for a yellow makeup look. Don't forget to subscribe and notify and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!